beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Toronto has finally opened its stores and I'm so excited because that means I get to go thrifting. I have a massive list that I have been collecting ideas throughout the last year and I'm gonna have fun and look for some fun colors, bold patterns. It's gonna get spicy up in here. I will be starting my adventures on Queen West and once I'm done, we're gonna come home and I will do a little thrift haul. Let's see how successful I can be. First stop was Common Sort. I was lucky enough to be the first one in line because I went early enough and I just couldn't wait to get inside. They are a curated vintage and secondhand store that also has like brands that we recognize but also brands that we don't. And they had such a beautiful selection of purses and bags and I just was loving the aesthetic. Look at all those floral bold patterns, love it. And then the shoe collection is on point. <laughs> and there are so many beautiful dresses and skirts there, but unfortunately they didn't fit me, but I'm admiring them. I was thrilled that the change rooms were open and I was able to actually try things on. Okay guys, so I am done with the first store, which was Common Sort, and it was so much fun. I got some fun goodies and I'm in line. <laughs> I'm in line for the second one. It looks to be very cool and very vintagey. So let's see how successful store number two can be. Saw this adorable bucket hat, but the size looked a bit small, and to be honest, the pattern was a bit too much for me. Again, admiring the beautiful vintage shoe collection. And yeah, just a really cool, very edgy, secondhand and vintage thrift shop along Queen West. And they just had so many cool bold patterns and Hawaiian prints and 60s and 70s flared tops that just were ooh, on point. And yeah, here's me trying on some really funky shorts that I thought maybe could look good, but they were actually quite tight and they're a bit too intense. And here's another pair that just, yeah, could fit my caboose in. Boo. Really embarrassing. I hate this so much. Why? So like big. No. You like this? It's awful. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, so bad. It, yeah, no. It's so bad. bad. All right, so it's been a few days and everything is cleaned, sanitized, and ironed. And I'm just so excited to finally share this thrift haul with you guys. Oh my god, I don't even remember the last thrift haul I did. So on Saturday, I went to four vintage slash curated thrift stores and I got some really cool pieces. I will be honest, on Friday, I did go to Value Village, but I didn't film. I'm sorry, but I was just with my family and I was just so excited and in the moment that I didn't really want that added pressure to film that experience, but boy, am I thankful I did because I got so many pieces of clothing that are just, oh, they're just so fun. So the items that I got on Queen West are supplementing, they're going with the items that I got at Value Village. So we're gonna start with Value Village. The first item are these beautiful sage color high-waisted shorts. I love that they're just so relaxed. They're 100% cotton. I don't recognize the brand Erica, but that doesn't really bother me. I'm not a brands person and they were only three dollars and fifty cents perfect for those really hot summer days when you don't want denim shorts around your body and who doesn't love green green is so in right now this will just look so good with truly anything so the second item are these incredible hawaiian shorts i love the cut of them i love the fact that they're 100 percent cotton and they're they're a little short but they're not like embarrassingly short on me. I think I can still pull this look off. And I love the fact, again, they're just an elastic waist with a drawstring, so you can make them as tight or as loose as you want them. They're from a brand called My Style, never heard of it. And they were only $5.50. This will be just like a perfect short to have on those really hot days when I'm just bumming around the house. And the third pair of shorts are a pair of men's shorts. I went into the men's section. I love this color. Again, sort of a muted pink, but it's very 
fitting for me because it's not too splashy. I think just pairing it with a belt looks so cute. Yes, they're a little large, but I think that's what works with them. I like that sort of comfort. They have pleats at the front and these were six dollars. They're L.L. Bean and they're the double natural fit. I don't know what that means, but I don't know about you guys, but I truly cannot stand walking the streets of Toronto in itty bitty tight shorts where everything is just exposed and hanging out. This next item is a top that is very reminiscent of Y2K because Y2K is coming back in fashion. And at the time, I really didn't like these kind of tops because I didn't think they were very flattering for my body. But now as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot more confident and more comfortable with my body. So I think this top actually looks Looks smoking hot on me. It is this very fun bold print top. It's cut quite low, but not low enough to make me uncomfortable. It's got a little tie right at the cleavage area. And I know I've said I'm not a fan of these sort of like short sleeves. I'm getting over it. I'm getting over the fact that, okay, I don't have like the most perfect arms, but it's still flattering. And I can just see it kind of, you know, tucked up cropped into the bra with high-waisted pants. The brand is London Times. Again, I'm not sure of that brand. It's like a spandexy, stretchy material, which I really like. And this was only $4.50, so cheap. See, Value Village, it, it delivers. So the next tank top is quite fun. It is this crazy, colorful Columbia tank top. Yeah, the colors are pretty crazy and bold, but I think it's beautiful and I think it's really fun. Especially in the summer, you just want pops of color and why not? This was only $4.50 and there's no brand associated with it because it's probably just like a tourist tank top. Someone was just like... And the last tank top is Hawaiian print. I was able to get my hands on another Hawaiian print top. This is such a beautiful green. I think it's like a teal green almost. Not too bold with the pattern but bold with the color and again another perfect tank top to just kind of crop or tuck into high-waisted shorts or jeans or pants and again just pairing it maybe with a blouse or a fun hat, shoes, whatever. Like just having fun with the color. And this is a brand, again, not sure of it, Midtown, don't know it. It's 95% cotton, gotta love your cotton in the summer. And again, this was only $4.50. The next items are blouses. You know me and blouses, I'm obsessed with blouses, I love blouses, I love the fact that blouses are a thing and you can wear them however you want. Men's blouses, women's blouses, tight blouses, big blouses, like, Blouses are just so fun. So starting off with blouses is the blouse that I'm wearing right now. It is a extra, extra large women's blouse from Tabby and I'm just keeping it very relaxed, wearing it with a white cropped tank top, high-waisted denim, and yeah, it's just a nice, easy, casual look and it was only $8. Yeah, I got another Hawaiian print item. I might be tired of Hawaiian print eventually, but right now I'm not. Look at this beautiful Hawaiian print blouse that is a extra, extra large from a brand called Jocelyn Smith Classic, and it's 100% rayon, and it has such a beautiful weight to it. And I love the fact that the colors are not too bold, but yet bold in a very soft pastel sort of way. And this was only $8.50. For such a good quality shirt, I'm surprised it was so cheap. I feel like they could have really priced this up, but they didn't. Thank you, Value Village. And my fourth and final blouse that I bought gets me very excited. I had to very carefully iron this blouse because it is a 100% linen. This beautiful, soft pink, Lord and Taylor, oof, blouse. Pairing it again with a white crop top or even a black crop top, high-waisted pants of some sort, whether they're denim or not, and just leaving it open and very chill and very casual would just look so beautiful. And this was only 550. 
Again, another steal. So I wasn't too successful in the skirt aisle. I was only really able to find one skirt that <laughs> was Hawaiian print. I love this so much. It is so, so fun. It's so beautiful and it fits me amazingly. It's from Talbot's. Only thing I don't love about it is that the hem at the bottom is I don't know what you want to call that scallop like a scalloped edge and I'm not feeling it it doesn't really go with my style so I'm actually going to rehem it and just bring it up a bit and just make it straight across it does look beautifully on as is but I do feel like the length and the scalloped edge kind of makes it a little more older and I do want this to be a bit more youthful because you know the whole Hawaiian print is very Y2K which means you know I gotta look like I'm in my 20s all right I don't need to be looking like my age <laughs> and it was a little bit pricier but if you felt how beautiful this was it's worth it this was $15 so now we're gonna head into the dresses and these are probably my all-time favorite pieces that I bought this is where I feel like maybe I really pushed my comfort level like a little over um, because I normally would not buy things like this because they're just too out there and I wouldn't know how to style them. I've been seeing a lot of like the 60s and the 70s coming back and so these last two items kind of take from those decades. This dress is giving me twiggy vibes. Wow, very fun mod 60s with the bold floral print and all the beautiful colors of the pinks and it's got a beautiful cut to it it's an a-line cut but yet not too a-line it's a little bit you know straight and it fits me perfectly through the bust i don't know the brand because there is no label on it which makes me wonder this might have been homemade and whoever did make it they did a beautiful job like it is a beautiful dress and this was 14 dollars Okay, so on to the last and final clothing piece. This, ooh, I love this so much. This is giving me 19s, late 60s, 70s Halston vibes. If you guys know what I mean by Halston, <laughs> well, good on you. This very cool, I can't even hold it up because it's so long, but it's a halter top dress and it's got a bit of a low back so i can't wear a bra but guess what there's a built-in bra inside of it so it fits me perfectly and it just looks so elegant and so divine and it just hangs off my body in all the right places and i love this pattern and then at the bottom it's got another really neat pattern and it's just very 70s and it's very grecian and I just, I love it. This was a little bit more, it was $15, and the brand is Max Studio. I feel like I've heard that brand before, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Now let's go through the accessories that I got on Queen West, starting with a store called Common Sort. So the first item that I bought there oh, was meant for me because I was on the hunt for a belt to pair with my Halston dress. Look at this beautiful, belt. It has such a beautiful gold buckle and it fits perfectly around my waist and it looks so beautiful with the dress and I just love these sort of like squiggly line cutouts which just adds to the whole playful having fun vibe and this was $18. It was a sales item so I can't even return it. So the second item that I got from Common Sort is this beautiful full oh i love this it's got such a beautiful like almost doily like pattern on the front and then it's got another really cute pattern on the back and the handles are wood however it's broken in one spot but i've got gorilla glue so i'll just glue it back into place and it'll be perfect and this was only $11 again another sale item and the last accessory just gets me so excited when I saw these I just knew I had to have them I tried them on and at first I was like am I crazy for thinking these look really fun but um yeah I bought these 
and I can't remember the store and I'm so sorry but I cannot find the receipt so I can't tell you where I got them but they're on Queen West somewhere but I do remember how much they cost they were $22 for refurbished sunglasses like hello how cool are these I love anything that's tortoise shell but I especially love the fact that there's these really pretty gold accents on the side. I love the chunkiness. I know little sunglasses are in, but at the same time, don't pass up on big statement sunglasses, especially, I think, if they have some sort of retro or vintage flair to them. Like, I'm just feeling so badass in these and just so cool. Like, I can envision myself sitting by a poolside, <laughs> under a palm tree, drinking a cocktail, and just living my best life. Like, these sunglasses are everything. I can't wait to wear them and pair them with absolutely everything. <laughs> All right guys, well that's it for today. I had so much fun taking you along with me and sharing my thrift haul with you guys. I'd love to hear from you guys, letting me know which was your favorite piece. Hopefully there'll be a lot more to come. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Toronto just gets better and better. All right guys, I'll see you all next week. Love you all, bye.